Hey guys, how are you? David Franco here from GearPop.com as well as DavidFranco.com as well as Flowerville. Look at that, that is good timing. My wallpaper changes every 15 minutes and that is in system preferences if you're wondering. Anyway, today is July 10th, 2013. This summer is flying by, which honestly isn't a bad thing because I already went to Seaside Heights and now my next thing to look forward to is Atlantic City. And then finally, Splinter Cell Blacklist for the 360. I cannot wait. That is not related to this video, so let's just jump right into the dock tour. First up, and I say this every single video, well every single dock tour I should say, this is the Finder. The Finder is not terribly exciting, but for what it is, I love it, I love the Finder, and I have a Finder pillow, if that tells you anything. Next up is Dictionary. Guys, if you are into websites like I am and finding domain names and whatever, all that good stuff, definitely check out Dictionary. It's included in OS 10. It's just a great little app. For instance, when I was searching for gear pop, I will search for the word gear and then go into the dictionary or the thesaurus and look at words just like gear. For instance, articles, appliances, tools, utensils, um, implements, instruments, gadgets. Gadgets is, is, is a great one. And then eventually I would find two words that work well together, push them together, or even combine those two words to form a new word that doesn't even, even exist in the English dictionary. But guys, either way, check it out. Excellent app, and I cannot say that enough. Next up is mail. I love mail. Well, I should say the mail app. Email is kind of like one of those things, like I said in my Seaside Heights 2013 video. It's one of those things where it's love-hate. I love email because I love talking to you guys. I love talking to my viewers and my friends and my clients and all that stuff. But I also hate it because email stresses me out like a mother. For instance, this isn't too much email right here, but this is my work I had to do today after this video. It's not too bad. But for what it is, I do love mail. Mail is a great app, and I just love it overall. Next up is iCal. As you can see today, my Amazon payment is due, which is a nice reminder because I don't know if I would have remembered uh, if I wouldn't have made this video. But either way, I will make that payment after this video. Uh, as you can see here, I use this for weekly reminders, um, emailing my hours, my Chase payment, blah, 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 credit card payments, all that stuff. And here, Monday, yes, I did register for CES 2014, which is going to be awesome. I cannot wait as long as I'm accepted because apparently they have to review my application and get back to me in a couple weeks. I will definitely uh, let you guys know on Twitter and Facebook if I am accepted or not. Next up is my browser of choice, Safari. Now, I realize a lot of people prefer Chrome, but I'm definitely in the minority. I love Safari. I love everything about it. I love the OS 10 integration. I just love how it works. I love Safari, guys. I just, I, I just can't say that enough. Safari is a great application. Is it perfect? Hell no, obviously not. Nothing in this world is perfect. Nothing. Uh, but Safari, it's pretty damn close, and I love it. So let's close that. Next up is Chrome, which is actually on my secondary monitor over here to the left of my Asus. This is the FrancoGaming.com. I just launched a few weeks back. Let me refresh, see any view counts. The GTA 5 official gameplay video, which is right here, is currently at 600. And 98 views, which is not bad at all because it was about 500 last night. So it's almost gained 200 views since I went to bed, which is not bad. So, okay, anyway, getting back on direct topic, this is Chrome, definitely my secondary browser of choice. Um, it's usually my left monitor for social media news, for um, especially when I'm coding websites. This is my preview browser. So when I was designing this website or gearpop.com or ddfraga.com or any of the many websites that I run on a daily basis, then I usually use Chrome to preview them. And it works out great. Next up is Firefox. This is my third browser of choice for one main reason. Let's go to gearpop.com and I will show you an extension called Firebug. Now I realize Firebug is available on Chrome. I do realize that. But I prefer it on Firefox. So let's click on Firebug up here click on the inspect button and this allows you to inspect and change the code on any website in real time. This is an excellent way of designing your website and seeing how things appear without having to go back and forth in WordPress or whatever um, CMS you use. So let's click on this and if you look down here you'll see the margin is 5 pixels which isn't much at all. But if I change that to 50, watch that navbar. See it move down? Go to 500 pixels, 
5,000 pixels, which is insane. But as you can see, it changes in real time. And guys, I cannot trust this enough. Firebug, amazing extension. It's free. If you design websites like I do and you care about good code and whatever, definitely check it out. It's awesome. Next up is the App Store. I'm currently installing a bunch of updates for Aperture, Motion, Pages, Twitter, and Mail tab. But if you get it featured, you can see the home page of the App Store. Now, honestly, I don't use the App Store on the Mac that often, at least not nearly as often as I do on my iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. But I'm really glad it is here, and now and then I will browse for free games or cheap games to keep me busy or whatever, or even apps that can help my my uh, workflow, such as Pages. I still haven't updated Pages to the newest one, but I'm sure I will eventually. Actually, let's just hide that since I'm installing updates. Next up is Fetch. This is my FTP application of choice. For those unaware, FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. In layman's terms, it's a great and easy way of transferring files easily. For instance, if I go to my images folder on GearPop, I can drag this screenshot over to here. And now it's technically on GearPop.com. Now you guys won't see it because I'm not technically displaying it on the website, but it is technically on the server. So let's just delete that since it obviously doesn't belong there. But guys, Fetch is great. It's free if you sign up for an education license, I believe. I got this for free years ago, and ever since then, I loved it. Fetch is just great overall. And again, if you design websites, if you develop websites, FTP is a must-have. Next up is Twitter, the official Twitter app. I, again, just like Chrome, have it on my left monitor. That way, I, I can keep an eye on things. Now, as you can see, I have things split up into two categories. I have my main home feed over here on the right for the creative one. Actually, twitter.com slash David Franco. That's just the creative one logo. Gear Pop, the Franco Gaming, Ad for Five, and the Franco Hosting. Yes, I manage all these websites and Twitter accounts on a daily basis, and all those links are actually right below this video. And on the left here is my mentions column. This is where I, well, follow my mentions because I get a good amount of mentions on a daily basis so this is a great way of keeping up with everyone that contacts me put my money where my mouth is let's see what Shane's talking about thanks for funding Hemless I have to check that out that sounds familiar Hemless have, have I heard of that I'm not entirely sure alright moving on to iTunes a lot of people seem to hate iTunes I love it I, mean, I don't really have any gripes about it it works just fine it plays my music it syncs my devices over Wi-Fi and I love it. But as you can see, I use it mainly for one thing and that's podcasts. My main podcasts of choice right now are Internet Business Mastery, which I obviously have to catch up on since I was in Seaside last week. Leo Laporte, the tech guy, <laughs> which I definitely had to catch up on. My God. Mac Break Weekly, amazing podcast. Smart Passive Income Podcast by Pat Flynn, amazing podcast if you're into internet marketing and making money online. I mean... Who doesn't want to make money online? Definitely check that out. And last but certainly not least, This Week in Tech, which I listened to, I think, two days ago. So that's obviously all caught up. And here I have my music, movies, which isn't really synced, but as you can see, Titanic's there. My main movies folder, genres, home videos, which they're seaside because I was previewing uh, those videos. And finally, list. We have TV shows, podcasts, apps, and all that good stuff. All right, let's talk about Pandora. I love Pandora. This is probably gonna try to play music, so I'm gonna stop it real fast, so I don't so I don't get slapped in the face with copyright. Actually, it crashed. That's weird. Now it should launch. Oh, because there was an update. Figures. Good old Adobe Air, right? And there it goes. This is a great station, by the way. If uh, you search Final Fantasy VIII. You will get tons of classical music. So anyway, I use Zomboy Radio, Final Fantasy VIII, Lindsey Sterling Radio, We Are Young Radio, which I listen to every day um, when I wake up. It Wasn't Me Radio, which plays a lot of Shaggy in 90s, which is awesome. And finally, Best of 80s Reloaded Radio. Guys, I love music. I love Pandora 1. Yes, I do pay that fee a year. Uh, each year, I should say. That's Skype you just heard. And it's just a great service. All right, I can hear my voice going out, so let's just get this over with. Aperture, which I haven't opened in a while, but I have a lot of photos to import from Seaside 2013, and I promise I will share some of them over at facebook.com slash davidfranco, so be sure to click that link right below and subscribe to my page. 
That is a golf picture that I still have to edit and upload. I just love the way that worked out with the storm back there and all the uh, negative space. That is rule of thirds right there. Well, maybe rule of thirds. The the uh, top third is kind of blank, but I guess you can count that as the content. Anyway, let's not um, dwell too much. But anyway, this is Aperture. I love it for what it is. I obviously still have a lot of photos to edit, but good times, great app. Come on. You can quit. I'm not really importing anything. I don't know what it's talking about. Oh my god, what is happening? Go ahead. You can update your library. Okay, Aperture is finally closed. Let's open up Final Cut Pro 10. I love Final Cut Pro 10. I got so much freaking hate a couple years ago when they launched this app. But guys, I still stand by my original words, guys. I just said guys twice. Final Cut Pro 10 is amazing. It works well, it works great, it has come a long way, and it is perfect for what I do. I love it that much. Such a great application. Now, all those projects, projects you see are projects I'm currently working on for a client, but um, there it is, Final Cut Pro 10. Excellent app. Next up is QuickTime Player. Nothing terribly exciting, but this is a great way to preview my videos and anything. For instance, right here, see it's 2010 or 2013. I don't know why I said 2010. Let's play that. Am I'll fetch you. <laughs> Dude, I'm just freaking too honest. There you go. That's how I usually preview my videos because in my opinion, and please take this as advice, always preview your videos before uploading to YouTube. I mean, just finding mistakes in the comments and whatever, that to me is just embarrassing and there's no excuse for it. But that's just the way I look at it. I'm not trying to hate. I'm just saying I've seen people upload videos with terrible mistakes. And I tell myself, didn't you watch your video before uploading? But that's just me. All right. Anyway, Black Magic Media Express. This is a great app if I used it. Actually, you know what? As of this video, let's take it out of the dock. Because that is usually to import um, in real time my HDMI capture card for my gaming channel. But I don't run that anymore. Next up is Stream Desk. Stream Desk is a great application to watch streams without having to go in the browser. For instance, Chris Perillo. Let's pull up his feed. I used to watch it all, um, all the time, but Chris's live stream has changed over the years, so I don't really use it nearly as often as I used to. And actually, he might be offline. Yeah, he's offline right now. So, I believe he's offline. So, but anyway, you get the point. Stream Desk, free app, check it out. Skype, which I won't show because it'll show people's names and possibly their Skype account number, nah, number or name and whatever. So I don't want to display privacy issues. But you guys all know what Skype is. Photoshop CS6. I love Photoshop CS6. Um, it's great. The little banner I was designing um, and stuff like that. I, I use Photoshop almost every single day. Actually, I probably do use it every single day. And it quite possibly runs my life in terms of design. Next up is Dreamweaver. CS6. I use this now and then, maybe to do a quick table thing for a website or whatever, but I mainly use it for Ad for 5, which is right here, as you can see. They're not displaying in real time anymore, they used to. I have to fix that in the site command up here. But this is a great way of managing Ad for 5.com. I still have to add a new row down here, which I actually might do today. But for what it is, Dreamweaver is great. I don't use it for everything. Like I said, I just mainly it's use it for this project. It's 1 o'clock. Thank you, Mr. McIntosh. And there it is. Next up is text edit. Guys, I use text edit all the time. For instance, to manage DeFranco Gaming, this is where I did the early notes for DeFranco Gaming. I also have my DeFranco Gaming affiliate links right here. This is where I uh, paste in all the code, well, the HTML code for the uh, prices and everything. And I just love text edit. It's great. There's my 3DS friend code. I keep it in a note. That way, I don't have to memorize it. But it's free. It's included in, uh, with, with OS X. And I just love it. All right. I feel like I said I love it a lot. So let's just end this video with system preferences. System preferences is great. It's just, well, system preferences. If you're a Mac user, you probably know what it is. You should anyway. And But the more interesting stuff down here is air display, a com I, I guess that's how you say it. Black Magic Design, Flash Player, Flip for Mac, WMV, Java, Launchpad, Mac Fuse, and Printopia. 
Now, do I use all of these anymore? No, I only use a couple. But for what it is, they're there, they work great, and if I ever need to use them, I have the option. And that is System Preferences. Oh, and right down here, we have Shortcut Docs. This is my Gear Pop submission to client letter. Uh, if you submit a blog post and it's not up to my standards, then I send that back just simply thanking you for your submission, but you have to try again. Hey, this is the nicest I can be, right? And down here, we have a bunch of downloads, which I won't open because that's um, clientele stuff, but there it is. Oh, and finally, last but not least, is my trash. As you can see, this is my, these are my podcasts that I was just listening this to. This is a smart password closet. That's the acronym. Mm -hmm. Everybody um, on the first page of Google for my. See? Great podcast. Definitely check it out. Smart passive income. All right, guys, I'm finally done. This is probably my most unorganized doc tour ever, but honestly, I'm tired, I'm thirsty, I need to get some lunch or whatever, I just feel out of it. But I wanted to do this for you guys. You guys have been asking for a long time. So if you have any questions about my doc or anything that you saw in this video, just simply post below and I will do my best to get back to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all those links are right below, as well as my websites over at davidfranco.com, gearpop.com, thefrancogaming.com, thefrancomedia.com, adverfire.com. I do a crap load of work on a daily basis, and, I'm, and I, I would just really appreciate it if you guys checked it out. And now, guys, I'm finally done. Thank you again, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.